A fail for Russell Ward and Damien Faulkner not had the look this year. ST leader Stephen McAleer now just closed in on a tiny bit by Rick Casey Jr. Still seven seconds the advantage. Yeah, and that gap's been uh, fairly constant, about uh, just over seven seconds the last yeah. several laps. A gap about four seconds further back, also to number 84 car of uh, Tyler Cook. But uh, Brick Casey Jr., despite that huge hole in the side of the car, or oh, dent at least, still going at a very good pace. Two yellow and black cars battling for position in ST are going into the left-hander at turn three here. The 52 Mini. Stephen Simpson right behind, and the BMW gets to the right-hand side for the... Right-hander should have had position there, but the grip of the Mini was exceptional. And Pombo in the Mini holds on. They are battling for eighth and ninth in class. They are the first two cars off the lead lap in ST. The 52 car showing signs of battle weariness and did have a little bit of tyre rub on the left rear. Some damage on the left front as well. As through goes the Aston Martin of Charles Espenlab, not in that fight. Looks like the BMW has got the corner coming into the turning point at turn one at Big Bend. Now, can Stephen Simpson hold on? He can in the JDC Miller Motorsports BMW. And he has just taken that position up to eighth then. With Pombo slipping down to ninth. These two on screen having a fabulous battle yeah, as well. Yeah, just what we've done. Yeah, That's a great, position just yeah. talking about it, it's yeah. It's been super, that. we uh, been going for a long time now as well. So, Robin Liddell's lead being managed, I would say, by the Scotsman. He's lost another three-tenths that time around. Cameron Castles, though, pushing Jesse Lazare. He's back to within half a second of Lazare. Yeah. And those points, if he could get by might be important, but what he can't do is end up at the side of the circuit. As the 34 Mazda has gone back out, and unfortunately the tape hasn't done its job for Christian Simchak. And we have something approaching a basking shark heading up the uphill in terms of the front of the car. I'm not sure it'll find any krill at West Bend. Um, but it won't overheat. Um, I'm pretty certain about that. I think he may have to come back into the pits again. And we've only got a minute and a half. Well, he's staying out. As the time ticks down towards about a minute to go. Robin Liddell, this one and one more. No white flag in hand on the start-finish line. Yeah, it'll be white flag next time around for the 57. He's losing a bit of time. It's come down to four seconds here. Dylan Machavan's pushing on there. 57 6 last time around for Machavan. That's quick. Very quick indeed. Everybody else, at least half a second and more, slower than Machavan in second place in that number 28 Porsche. Just about two and a half miles to go, maybe a little less for Robin Liddell as now he's all right, course by so quickly already at the West Bend. Well, this has been another cracking race, and Stevenson Motorsport are one and a half miles away yeah. from making it two in a row. Just magnificently consistent to Robin Liddell. He's just lapping great. just around almost exactly 58 seconds flat for the last time, I don't know, well, most of the race really, since he took over the wheel of that car from Matt Bell. It's been a great performance once again from this entire Stevenson Motorsports team. And they played the tactics perfectly, with Matt Bell coming in and getting a full set of Continental tyres in one of the full course cautions. That allowed them to only change the left side tyres and fuel it to the end when Robin got in. They were confident enough to leave Matt in it beyond his 45 minutes. And that has paid dividends. Matt Bell on the restart with new Continental rubber, able to drive away from the field, hand the car over in the lead to Robin Liddell on the pit stop cycle. He came back to the front and has managed the gap. And it will be 
two wins in two races in the Continental Tire Sports Car Challenge for Stevenson and John Stevenson is here to see this one as they take the Lime Rock Park 120. Across the line goes Stephen McAleer and wins for the third time in a row here at Lime Rock Park, having converted pole position as well the last three years. Matt Bell, the driving partner of Robin Liddell, is with Shea Adam. Matt, one heck of a job, two weekends in a row. So that's four races you've done in the series this year and you've gotten two wins out of it. That's not a bad record. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll take it. I mean, again, this is one that was a little bit, um, just, just we, we didn't expect it. We didn't expect it to happen like this. Um, but we showed performance. We had, you know, our best qualifying and by far um, both stints were, were the most competitive that we've been with this car. So the team did a great job. This is all on Mike uh, Johnson with his, his strategy call to pull us in on that first caution. Um, we went out on fresh tires while everyone else uh, didn't have any, and, uh, and then they took only two at the second stop, and it, it was just the perfect decision to go for, and um, I, I think that's what got us the win. We weren't outright fastest. We were um, maybe a hair slower than the, uh, the 28 car there at the end, um, but you know, Robin did his homework early on and cut through that traffic best he could, and uh, yeah, perfect. A little bit sweeter having Mr. Stevenson here this week, though. Yeah, absolutely. It's always uh, it's always good to win with the boss around. You know, he, he puts together a pretty good uh, group of people here, so um, we're pretty uh, we're pretty happy about it. Congrats. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Agree with you there, Matt. That was a great team effort executed perfectly in the pit lane. You wouldn't bat against them going three in a row at the next time out. It's Road America, Dylan Matchevin in second place. That's great news for Dylan Matchevin and Dylan Merkett in the championship. Mark Miller, valuable championship points for he and his teammate, Till Bechtelsheimer. <laughs> Tell you what, the championship's close. Well, let's hear it in GS. <laughs> in GS. Well, we should say the championship leaders finished fifth position, Cameron Castles and Trent Hinman. Right. Uh, they came in with 140 points leading right. the championship. Indeed. And and uh, and the, the second place in the championship, Paul Holton and Matt Plum, they came home uh, one position behind them yep. in sixth. So they actually pulled out uh, one point effectively. It's now 166 to Castles and Hinman, 162 to Paul Holton and Matt Plum, and... The, the Dillons, Dylan Mercott right. and Dylan so Machavin. So second place. Joint second place, just four points off the lead. One point further back are Till Bechtelsheimer and Mark oh, Miller. No. And then just uh, half a dozen behind them are Matthew Keegan and Nico, Nico Ronde. So that is a, a tremendous battle. In the uh, Manufacturers' Championship, by the way, uh, with the uh, second place finish, that will mean that uh, for, uh, Porsche will 